In this lecture, we'll be learning about how to navigate into SAP. So the topics that we'll be covering today, they are uh, SAP GUI icon, how to log into SAP, how to reset your password, standard SAP screen for all modules, menu path for transactions, command bar, favorite transaction, F1 help, F4 search, multiple SAP sessions and technical name display. So let us discuss first with SAP GUI icon. So once you enroll, I will send you all the instruction about how to install the uh, GUI icon. So it, it is a small file. So you're not installing the whole SAP software into system. You're basically installing a small GUI file and that will help you to, to access the external online server. Now, once you install the, uh, the GUI, uh, GUI then you will see on the desktop you will see a link like this this one once you have followed the instruction that i will send you and you can then double click on it to open and here you can see sap ecc so double click on sap ecc it will open the sap login screen so here you can log in so i'm logging in with my id and you'll be given a password as well so i can enter my password and when you enter the password first time system will pop up a screen and ask you to change it and for now i can enter press enter and i can go into the sap uh, server and you can also click on the new password on the top here if you again want to reset so for for now i will just press enter because my password is already in use but as i said first time system will ask you to change it so that is a standard sap home screen once you log in and this is the standard home screen uh, of all the SAP software wherever you go with this version at the moment so it doesn't matter in which country you are every country every businesses have the similar screen like this one and uh, also doesn't matter in what module you are working whether you're working in, in SAP, as a SAP SD consultant or end user or you are uh, working in MM working in PP module working in a app module everyone will have the same home screen like the, the one that you can see here so everyone will log on in the in the same way and will have access to the same skin but from here on they will have different access for example the SD guys guys will have access to only the SD transactions and customizing MM guys will have access to their own transaction and customizing and uh, menu path for transaction so here you can see the menu path for example uh, in uh, if you if you open the logistic if you if you if you're working in SD you can open the logistics you can see then sales and distribution you can open that then you can see master data you can open that you can see then business partner you can see customer open that create you can see this is how you can create customer open change so all the this is the menu path so this is the menu path for the customer I can close it that's the menu path for the products you can open it open it you can see the this is how you can open the transactions or this is a master data only if you want to see the transactions then you can go to the uh, sales and you can for example if you want to create a sales order you can open the order you can double click on this transaction say VO01 double click on it it will open the screen for the sales order creation and from here on onwards you can create the sales order now creating the sales order I'll talk in the other video later on and same goes for if you're working in MM the MM guy will open their material management under purchasing they can open the purchase order they can create the order so same goes for the other modules for example you can see production production guys will be opening this one and they can open their data and finance guy will be doing the under accounting they will be using accounting they can access the transaction here that's for human resources and all that so for if you're in SD just open this one under sales and distribution then we'll talk about the command bar for example if you want to create the sales order you can see open you can open this venue path and you can come here and you can double click on this this one va01 create double click on it or what you can do you can 
use the VA01 transaction and open uh, op, uh, and um, enter in the command bar to, to create that order. For example, if I remove this one or it doesn't matter if it's open or close, if I enter here in the command bar VA01 and press enter, same thing. So in real time, once you start using SAP, you will you will remember automatically some important transactions that are used on a day-to-day -day basis and mostly people they they just remember automatically with their practice and they just enter here like VA02 to change the order so VA02 to change the order and that's a change the order if you are creating um, uh, if I go back if I want to create say if I want to open a material master MM02 enter that's a material master transaction but for example from this transaction if I want to open um, say sales order change screen again if I enter VA02 here straight away it will not work because I first need to go to the home screen and then I can enter VA02 but there's an alternative what you can do just before every transaction enter slash n like I have done here slash n so when you enter slash n and then enter any transaction it will jump directly to that transaction so you can think like slash n means go to the home screen for example but it's not really going but you can think like this so if I press enter it now can jump again now if I want to open the customer if I enter say xt02 enter doesn't work because I didn't put slash n if I put slash n xt02 now it will work like this so, but if I am I'm on the home screen then doesn't matter if I do not then I do not need to enter slash n but if you can practice to enter any transaction using slash and that will be beneficial that will so that you can become used to it so before you enter any transaction enter slash n then we have um, favorite transaction so here you can see you can also create some favorite transaction for example if I'm the end user in SD and um, I'm using the SAP on the day-to-day -day basis to create the orders to deliveries and all that so under the favorite I can create some some favorite transaction that I want to use so every time I do not need to go to this to, to, uh, to this long menu path so I do not need to open this menu path straight away I can create the favorite here so create the favorite you can you can right click on it on favorite you can first you can insert the transaction for example I can say I want to use VA02 chain sales order like this or you can also create some folders here if I right click on favorite again I can click on insert folder I can say give the name says sales orders say ok so it will create a folder first and under the folder you can create transaction I can drag and drop this transaction here ok so you can see under this folder you can drag and drop from here as well you can you can also open like this menu path here sales quotation and I can drag and drop VA01 and drop it here under favorite like this same way that's I created one folder here I can right click on favorite again I can create another folder I can say insert folder I can say uh, customer master data for example customer master you can ok ok and now again under open open customer master and right click on it insert transaction you can again you can manually insert transaction or you can drag and drop I can say xd01 to create the customer there so this way you can you can enter your transaction so any number of folders you can create any number of favorite transaction you create so next time if I open just the customer and I can straight away double click on xd01 to create the customer otherwise if I do not have the favorite then I need to go to logistics go through all the way through was sales and distribution say uh, not sales master data business partner customer and under create xt01 so that's how you can create a shortcut for any transaction and then you have um, f1 help what f1 help is for example whenever you open any transaction for example if I open a transaction to change the customer say vd02 to change the customer so here you can 
you can press if you don't know what is sales organization for example what this field is so you can press f1 i can put the cursor here press f1 on my pc it will pop up a screen with the description of that field so you can see the details of that field what is the use of that field and all that so same way you can do it for any field for example what is division i can press f1 again on division it will open that even if i'm inside a customer i'll talk about creating a customer and changing a customer later on but for now just let me show you this one for example if open a customer for example you want to see what is such term here press f1 on this field it will tell you there's a meaning of such term so you can if you don't know what that field is all about you can put the cursor on that field and press f1 to get the details or the explanation or the use of that field <laughs> then we have f4 search f4 search is nothing but it's just like you can see under here i got country i got country here so country is d at the moment which is germany so you can either click on this little icon to change the country or to look for the different countries available see these are the different countries available or you can close it or alternatively without if you do not want to click on this little icon to open the the country list you can press f4 on a pc if i press f4 on my pc same thing so either press f4 or click on the little icon to open the details of that customer same way any field for example if i go to transportation zone i can again press f4 here so f4 will only have work where, where there is a search option available for example or wherever the search option is there you will see that little icon to do that for example here we have the search option that's fine it's working and you can select something here but for example here you entering the name only and name doesn't have any search option so here if i press f4 nothing will happen it's saying no input help available and there's no little icon like this icon it's not here it's not here for the name so depending on the field what field you're looking for then we have the multiple sap session <clears throat> so you can work on different sap session for example if i'm working on the customer here and the same time I, I want to check something in a different sales order i do not need to leave this screen here so i can open one more extra screen so to create the one more screen click on this little icon create new session if i click on create new session it will open one more sap screen so there's one screen behind if i drag and drop here like this make it small there's one screen behind it so here i can enter something for example i want to open a sales order i want to open this order for example and i want you to check something so i can check something in this sales order i can come back to the previous screen so this way you can so that's my sales order i can make it bigger again so i want you to check something here now i can either minimize it and go back to the previous screen or i can close other screen so this way you can maximum open six session in the standard sap you can max the maximum session you can open are six for example i can click on it again it will open a third session like this three four five maximum six in the standard sap you can open and you can close it as well and technical name display <clears throat> so what technical name display is if i cancel this so here for example when i open sales order master data uh, business partner customer and here you can see system is showing me the the transaction code and the description both because the dis the technical name key is on so make sure when you f when you start the training when you first time log in make sure you go to the extra and go to the setting and then make sure you check this box the last check box should be by default unchecked when you first log in but make sure you check this box say okay if you uncheck this box see what happens when you open any transaction it doesn't show the transaction code it only shows the description but when you have this under setting your display technical name is checked so when you open it next time now it will show you the transaction code and description so it's very very important so you need to make sure you check that box other thing you need to make sure is to click on the last icon here uh, on the top screen and click on the option when you click on it it will open this screen then click on option 
and make sure you double click on visualization one and check this one and this one these two show key with down drop drop down list and this one short by keys so this is something it will open the key display in the customizing not the front end but in the customizing you will need to see the keys as well so make sure you check these two boxes and say apply and okay do not change anything else do not change anything else so that's about it about the navigation so today we'll learn about the sap gui icon how to look like how to log in how to reset a password and uh, standard sap screen for all the different modules menu path for transactions command bar where you can type in manually the transaction code how you can create the favorite transactions f1 help f4 search help multiple sap session and how to display the technical name so thank you again for your time so we'll continue with the next video thank you